Here this evening at 6 o'clock, we addressed a major problem in the U.S., an enormous decline of women in the workforce due to the pandemic. Women continue to leave their jobs. To try and fix the problem, an organization called Women Back to Work is teaming up with a number of Silicon Valley companies. Here's how their so-called returnships work. Those are... My inspirations. My Anand mind. Oswal often looks at this photo of the women who inspire him. At the center is his mother. My mom was uh, uh, a young widow. He says she raised him and his siblings with grit and determination. She continues to be an inspiration for me in everything I do, in, uh, in my personal life, in how I apply work ethics and in my business life. So in his business life, Oswal hopes to pay it forward. He works at Palo Alto Networks as senior vice president of network security. I think the pandemic has caused, I was reading a report which said 10 years of growth in women in the workforce was, was gone in a month, in, in the month of April after the pandemic. So I think it is something that we, as leaders in the industry, need to help. That's where Palo Alto Network's 16 week returnship program comes into play. It's like an internship, but for women, many mothers who've taken a career break to care for children. Here's how it works Women Back to Work connects companies with qualified workers. Once hired, women are then provided with mentors, tailored training, and flexibility. Cisco has a similar program. It's just imperative in general for all of us to think about. There are going to be more breaks in careers in resumes. There's challenges we're all facing. And, um, and we have to be open and thinking differently about how we hire. Margaret Siri and Adriana Polito were hired through Cisco's returnship program. Sometimes you don't feel confident, right? But you have that support. The support, they say, has helped them thrive in project management. My first manager, Princey, was absolutely wonderful. She helped gem gently step me back into the world. They're now hoping other businesses will follow suit and lawmakers will do more to help women get back to work. This is an opportunity for um, all leaders, including our leaders in, in the White House and government officials, so think, think really hard about the programs, the support. President Biden's Build Back Better Act includes things like universal pre-K, paid family leave, and a cap on child care costs. The House passed the measure several weeks ago. This bill is monumental. It's historic. It's transformative. It's bigger than anything we've ever done. But lawmakers against it say it's too expensive and extreme. Stop this madness. The bill's now with the Senate, where it faces even more challenges before it can become law. We want to take the best of everything that we have. Meantime, Oswald says he'll focus on the things he can control, often yeah. thinking of his mother for inspiration. So you just need to make sure that you're, you bring in that human sense of empathy to the conversations and just lead by example. All right, so if you are curious about those returnships programs, you can find all the information you need on the organization's website. We also have a link to Women Back to Work on our website, NBCBayArea.com.